Hi, welcome to the MadCenter.com. Uh, in this video, we are going to continue with the problem we started in the previous video. Uh, meanwhile, uh, please, just give, please give this video a like and share as much as you can. And uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I proceed any further, uh, my dog is in my room again. So please bear with me. He tends to snore and uh, he breathes a bit loudly. He's old. So please bear with me. Yeah? He wants to be with me all the time. Okay. So uh, we've done part A and part B to the question. And I also told you the last time that for details of the question, please go to the uh, past papers website and uh, get the question. But what you need is all on the board. So uh, you won't be at a disadvantage there. Okay. Uh, before uh, looking at the next part, which is part C, where we're going to work out the variance of T, uh, all these solutions have been uploaded on my website. Uh, please go and take a look at my, mess, my website, uh, themadcenter.com, and uh, uh, you can, uh, by subscription, get access to all the solutions that I worked out myself. Okay? So, uh, we are looking at part C. Okay? We're looking at part C. Uh, let's get through that, yeah? Uh, in part B, we found that the expected value of T, or rather we showed why the expected value of T is 10. Yeah, that's because of the fact that we're dealing with a symmetric distribution, a quadratic function. Okay, variance of t is quite easy for us because that's by formula, the second moment, the expected value of t squared minus the first moment squared, the expected value of t whole thing squared. Okay, that's a formula that uh, we all know quite well. So what we are left with is we need, we have expected value of t we need to find the expected value of t squared. So let me set it up. The expected value of t squared will be t squared. Let me erase that. Oops, excuse me. t squared f of t dt. That's the expected value of t squared. So the only thing now is for me to plug in what is f of t and what are the limits. The limits, you know it. Yeah? Remember, it's going from 0 to t, excuse me, 0 to 20. Okay, 0 to 20. And uh, t squared, what is f of t? Let me write it down. 3 over 4,000. Uh, 20t minus t squared and dt. So now it has become a calculus problem. So just do the integration carefully. We are in pretty good shape here because our lower limit is 0. So we have, uh, let me just clean this up a little bit. 3 over 4,000. Okay, 3 over 4,000. Uh, going from 0 to 20, uh, I have got uh, 20 t cubed minus t to the power of 4 dt. What have I done? t squared times 20 t, 20 t cubed, t squared times t squared, t to the power of 4. Okay, so uh, let me erase the top so that, uh, okay, let me erase here. Let me bring it up. I have 3 over 4,000. Let's integrate, yeah? 20t cubed will be 5t to the power of 4, yeah? Just raise the power, raise the power by 1, bring it down, then you have 4, and then you'll get this easy to do, yeah? Minus t to the power of 5 over 5 and 20 and 0, okay? Let's just check. 20t cubed, integrate, you'll get this, okay? And then this is t to the power of 5, good, great. And uh, now just have to plug in the value of 20, okay? Use a calculator, you plug in all the numbers, you'll get 120, okay? So the variance of t, let's write the formula again. Expected value of t squared minus expected value of t, whole thing squared, and we have 120 minus 10 squared, and you will get 20. The variance of t is 20, 